Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Video app cannot play and then it's followed by an error code 0xe 101103. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu, type in troubleshoot. Best match should go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Underneath get up and running, go down and select underneath find and fix other problems. Locate video playback, find and fix problems with playing movies, TV shows, or videos. And then select run the troubleshooter. So you might ask for further clarification as to what your problem is. So if you're having a problem opening video playback settings, for example, so you're having problems with video quality, let's just go ahead and just select that. Just for an example there. And it might be able to identify the problem. And if not, you can go back and then try other settings in there as well. So if we go back into the troubleshooting menu, just be easier just to close out of it and then uh, reopen troubleshoot here. You can go through the other options as well. You can also just try continuing with the troubleshooter. And this seems to work for a lot of people, so we're just going to pretty much primarily focus on this selection here. And you can see it even gives you information, so like if you were unable to play 4K quality videos, you can see it says that your PC does not support the Harvard Digital Rights Management. And you see that there's an example, like if you can't play 4K videos, it'll give you then a prompt on the next screen about installing a codec in order to render 4K videos. So it's just it's interesting depending on how far you want to take it and how specialized your problem is. But generally speaking, you should be able to find a solution somewhere in this tool. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.